All right, here's your legal warning. I am not responsible for what you do to your truck by watching my videos. If you follow my videos, your truck's likely to start blowing bubbles out the tailpipe. So, Alright, let's get you uh, a better angle. Alright, so my goal here is to not be in your way so you can see, but uh, I'm also pouring some alcohol on this uh, clean towel here so I can wipe these uh, cam bearings. It's real tight in here, so if I get in the way, I'm my bad. I'm not trying to block your view. All right, so I know you're probably yelling at me to put on a pair of gloves, so I'm finally gonna put on a pair of gloves, uh, and then I'm gonna wipe down the, the crankshaft one more time, um, and then I am going to uh, lube up the bearings and then the cr uh, camshaft, and then I'm setting it in. Stay tuned. Looks like I'm about to do some dishes, don't I? Believe it or not, so like these are really thick gloves. I was at uh, Harbor Freight and they were out of all of their really thick gloves. So I got these for like $4, whereas they, they were selling some of the thinner ones for up to like almost $20 for a box, which I thought was asinine. So, all right, uh, clean towel. Wiping all the dirt off. Okie dokie, Smokey. What do we got here? I gotta, yep, gotta peel the seal. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. So, I am going to oil a couple of fingers and get all of the cam bearings first. I gotta get in the way a little. like you're holding the steering wheel of a car driving it in all right now we got him in there we got the two bolts um, right here and here. Um, also, if your machine shop did not replace your freeze plugs right here and here behind this uh, camshaft and this one here for your uh, high pressure oil system, you're going to need to replace those. The machine shop I used said that the 6.0 blocks use stainless steel plugs, so they don't remove them. Anyway, so those are in there already. I didn't have to do them. That's why I didn't show it. All right, so... <laughs> I've got the camshaft in, you saw that. Uh, the two bolts that hold this in are 13 millimeters. Um, Ford does not call for blue Loctite on here, but I am going to go ahead and put blue Loctite on these bolts because if these start backing out, then they're gonna get caught in this uh, camshaft gear and it'll be catastrophic failure. So 23 foot pounds is the torque spec on these two 13 millimeters. So uh, let me tighten this one down first. Got that one, okay. I got the blue Loctite on him already. Let's get him in the hole. Excuse me if I got to spit on it first. All right, 
let me screw this in real quick. Oh yeah. Okay. Turn our old trusty Torquem wrench on. And oh shit. Sorry. I'll put a 10 millimeter on here. <laughs> I need the 13. All right, so that is on there and I'll be back. So if you're wanting to know how to use this uh, timing tool, um, I didn't really see anybody explain it, I'm, but I didn't also search the internet for a thousand years. Um, so the tool itself has these two notches right here on the bottom of it and then the bolt hole that goes right there. That's, uh, I believe it's one of your transmission bolt sizes. Um, so you, Stick it in, put your bolt in. Um, you probably just have to get a shorter one from the hardware store or something to make it nice and snug if you want to, or do it like I did where I didn't even use a bolt. Because I just set it on there, and then the groove here, there's a pin right there on the end of the, the crankshaft, and it has to line with this having both pins in the, the camshaft lined up with the hole, lined up with the crank. And now the engine is timed, and I can take the tool off. And uh, if anybody needs a 6.0 timing tool, let me know, and uh, I'll cut you a good deal on it, because I don't think I will ever be real rebuilding another one of these. My bad, I got ahead of myself uh, just slightly. Okay, um, so we're gonna take the bottom half of the girdle, and you need to stick your two long O-rings. It's just like a string. It's not a circle looped o-ring or anything like that there's two of them there's one for each side of this um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get my uh my caulk gun with that rtv over there and i'm going to do the outer edge of this um to help prevent leaks later on down the road so let me get that um and i will be right back okay so we got our motorcraft uh, rtv sealant that we're going to be using um and we got our gasket in here, the long gasket on both sides. Uh, just so you want to make sure, go down it and make sure it's all pressed in. You can use like a, uh, some kind of foam roller. People use uh, wallpaper rollers and all kind of stuff. Um, I just tapped it all the way around. So we're going to put this, uh, this RTV and I'm going to put it on both sides of this gasket. Um, there was a Ford tech that I saw. He uh, said that he's had to pull the engines like back in the day under warranty just to reseal this. So, you know, just as a measure and, you know, like I said, this RTV is approved by Ford to not uh, break down with uh, engine oil. So both sides of that, um, not a super thick bead, just a small bead. And uh, we're gonna let that get tacky and then we will be putting the girdle back on the engine block. I will be back. All right, so this is, I mean, this isn't rocket surgery, dude. Like, you're just putting caulk on. If you've never put caulk on before, um, cut the tip, poke the end of it with the metal piece from your caulk gun, and then uh, slowly put a small bead on there. It's easier to put more than it is to take off. Um, and then go back and run your finger across it so that it's not super, super... Uh, like high, um, you just want to level it out. All right. Boom. All right. Now we're gonna slap the old girdle on top of the block and we are gonna twerk it down. All right, so let me move the camera. All right, super friends. Um, we're gonna use some ARP uh, fastener lube for these threads. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit all these real quick. 
that's probably way too much. Okay, now we are hand tightening, getting these threads started. And now we will start the torque sequence of, um, once these are all drawn down, I guess it's 110 for the first round, 130 for the second round, and 170 for the third round and final round. And I believe the... Uh, one, two, three, four. There's four on each side that go in the girdle here too that... Uh, I think those are like 25 foot pounds. What are you laughing at, woman? Got the word girdle. That's what it's called. That's what my grandmother wore, a girdle. Yeah. It's called a girdle because it sits on the bottom and supports the crankshaft. She had lots of support. <laughs> Did she? One ten. All right, let's do it. I feel like Tone Loke. Let's do it. Brr, doo,